Welcome, everyone, to Parenting Paused. If this is your first time to listen in, I'm Leslie Potter, and I come here each week just to share some five-minute inspirations on parenting. And in Pure Joy, we use an inquiry method because I truly believe that um, I'm not the expert of you or your family or your children. I may be the expert in mine, I guess I could say that, but most of all, I'm more of an expert on myself or I'm getting to know myself constantly. And for me, my parenting has really given me an opportunity to reflect on how my daughter is not the cause of my discomfort or my suffering. Now, of course, her behaviors trigger my discomfort and my suffering because I have a lot of programming from my childhood, from the parenting world about how I'm supposed to be how she's supposed to be, and maybe you do too. So often when I first see parents, the first thing we often do is blame our children. We feel that they are the cause because we're doing just fine and then they behave in a certain way. And of course, we may feel discomfort or uh, have an idea that it shouldn't be the way that it is, the reality. And so then we kind of grip and we suffer inside. So of course, it feels like or we perceive See, we think that they caused that discomfort. And yet, I can pretty well guarantee you that that discomfort lives inside of you, and it's based on your conditioning or your programming, what you were taught that early on. And so when your child does something that activates a program in you, it can really trigger discomfort and a feeling that the external is doing something to you. Well, in Pure Joy, we start to inquire. We start to check it out. We say, well, wait a minute. Maybe they didn't cause that. Maybe that lives inside of me and got activated. And then so often what can happen is, is then we say, well, if it's not their fault, maybe it's my fault. And then we can turn into pretty deep self-aggression, beating ourselves up. And so I'm going to support you in imagining what if it's not even your fault, right? What if it is your programming, your conditioning? Yes, because think about it. When newborns come in, we don't come in when you were a newborn. You didn't come in with programming. You didn't know good, bad, right, wrong. You didn't have all of those uh, conditioned thoughts or beliefs. So those are actually learned in our growing up. And we learn them, of course, from our parents. We learn them from school. We learn them from religious structures. Now, as we get older and we start to look at parenting, we go to books. We try to read all these books. Probably you've read many books on conscious parenting. So then we will take those in and we'll think, okay, that's the way because I want to get my kid to behave. Basically, I don't want to feel discomfort. That's what you're saying. And when you, again, attribute your child's behavior as the cause of your discomfort, then of course, you're going to try to control their behavior. So in Pure Joy, we just question that. We begin to look at, like, well, why do I get triggered by something but my partner doesn't? Hmm, now that's interesting. Or other parents don't get triggered. I get triggered by certain things. They get triggered by different things that I don't. Well, there's a clue. If you can ever come along that one, especially if you have a partner and you notice that certain things bug them that don't bug you, then you're going to know, oh, my programming around certain behaviors, around certain ways that I think I should be treated as a parent. My children should respect me. They should listen to me. These are conditions that we have inside that we learn and we just assume that they're just going to happen. And when they don't, we're so shocked, right? First time, I think I've talked about this on the podcast often when my daughter didn't listen to me. I was just shocked because in my programming, I thought if I treated her certain ways, then she would actually listen to me. Well, it wasn't the case. So I had to, instead of getting mad at her or controlling her, 
I got to go back in and look at my programming to see what I was attached to, to see how I wanted to be loved instead of being loving. So this week, take some time. Notice when you're emotionally triggered. That's one of the biggest pieces we do here. Then see if you can pause and see, do you think it's your kid's fault? And then if you don't, do you think it's your fault? And then if you do, see if you can drop that and just start checking into, oh, maybe this is all about my programming as a child, my conditioning. And now, can I offer kindness to this and question Is it actually true as an adult now? Is it true that my children should listen to me? They should respect me just because. Have a great week. Parenting Pause. We'll see you next week. Thank you for listening to this episode of Parenting Paused. If you enjoyed the episode, do me a favor and share it with your mama friends. You can also leave a review wherever you listen, which will support getting the Pure Joy message out. Come on over to the Pure Joy Parenting Practice Facebook page or join me on Instagram to hear more. And don't forget to download your free copy of the Safe Seat course on the Pure Joy website. And while there, check out the offerings page to go deeper in the Pure Joy work.